Michigan, all hands. Can you hear my face? Yeah. My name is Ho Bo Tom. Hey, girlfriend. Thank you today for joining Ho Bo Tom. And, well, my girlfriend's not here, only because, well, heck, she has a real job. And this is going to be the start of a new podcast series. It's going to be the Hobo, Hobo and His Girlfriend Wrestling Review. I'm going to go over, it's hopefully going to be a weekly show. I'm going to go over kind of major wrestling events that happen in my area, because, well, it's easier for me to get to. And, and some televised events, because, again, it's always fun to, to, to watch and listen. And it is pro wrestling. It's kind of good sports to always debate, and there's, there's no right or wrong thing. Um, I'd like to welcome you today. Uh, so today we're going to go over the Dade City NXT that I went to yesterday, which is always a good show for whatever reason. Um, it's always a fun show. Got a couple notes. I'll be able, I should be adding some videos towards the end of this or cutting into it, I hope. All depends on my technical capability. Again, there's a reason why my name is Hobo Tom. It's because I really don't have that technical technical capability. I figured I would start this just to see just see how it goes. But again, please feel free to like and subscribe to this video. It's going to be on YouTube at Hobo and His Girlfriend on the YouTube channel. And again, like, subscribe. And if you do want to email, we do have the email at Hobo and Girlfriend at gmail.com. Eventually, one of these days, I'm going to post that up there. But to start off, it was Date City NXT. Always starts off a great show. It's a pretty good venue. The crowd's pretty hot most of the time. Um, first thing is was the meet and greet. I always love the fact that the wrestlers do this. It's a really fun thing. Um, my only pet peeve, and this probably shows my age, um, they always have the new wrestlers there, and I'm like, who are you? And okay, it's trust me, it's great for the kids. They love it. It's fun to see, oh, new face is good. But then you're like, who are you? So, and again, it kind of goes on. You have the basic NXT, NXT, NXT entrance. have National Anthem, which, which is always a good thing. And then the first match, and I have no idea why they had this as, well, well I can kind of see why they had it as first match. Um, first of all, they... They gave the good good intro, I guess. They had Kai. They said Kai Sono, Chris Hero, is, is going to be wrestling again. Kind of shows my age. Velveteen Dream was there, and 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 we'll, we'll and we'll go into that in a little bit. Then Pete Dunne. So it had the potential to be a really great show. Um, I'm going to go a little bit through my rating system and my my rating system and my girlfriend's rating system. Again, she has the real job. I'm kind of stuck here as a hobo. It is a little bit different, so we'll go over that. But to get into the first match, I did not catch this Brazilian wrestler's name. He looked like a generic Brazilian creative character from Brazil with his jiu-jitsu, black belt and jiu-jitsu gear, and accompanied by two other Brazilians with a Brazilian flag. The good news is you could definitely tell that they were the heel. Versus, no, wait, Jose...
Jose, no way, Jose, again, a great, uh, it was a good opening match, it's, it's, it's a good kind of comedy match, it gets the audience involved in it, um, both are, are great technical wrestlers, it was a good pace, the referee eventually kicked the other two out, which, which the crowd got a kick out, really good energy in the match, I enjoyed that, um, so my rating system, this is a cheeseburger match, because again, there's really no way you can screw up a cheese, you can, no way in cooking a cheeseburger you can screw it up. My girlfriend, when they'll make it, she gives it a one heart match. So again, that was a pretty, it was just fun. It was serviceable. The crowd enjoyed it. Good pops for everything. It was fun. The second match of the night was Dan Matha versus Raul Menendez. I probably butchered their name. Yeah. good match. Matha is really good on the mic. If you want to have a class on heel promos, Dan Matha is the professor of it. He came out, ran down the crowd. Oh. It was really great. He had the one line in the match. He screams, I am the hammer and he is the nail. Of course, that always gets a reaction from a crowd. Again, great heel promo. The crowd was into it. Drawing back and forth between the crowd and Dan Matha. Raul Mendez would get up. The crowd would cheer for him. Really good. Overall, I mean, it's a ham sandwich match. This is a match that you can see anytime. And again, it's the second match of NXT for, for two developmental guys. I know Raul Men Mendoza, I think is his name. I've probably butchered that a couple times already. But again... Very good wrestler. I mean, last time we saw him, he wrestled Roderick Strong. Wow. That that could have headlined most TV shows. Raul Menen, Mendoza is really good. Dan Mathis is going to be really good whenever whenever they get through. Again, a good match. Ham sandwich. My girlfriend gave it half a heart. Uh, next match. This has kind of some unique implications. It was Aliyah versus Dakota Kai.
Great match. Very fast paced from these two ladies. Great technical wrestling involved as well. I mean, my only complaint, and this is probably such a minor one, knowing knowing that I'm just just a, just a wrestling smart and Mark and all those other things. I would have really liked to see these two at the autograph table, mainly because they're kind of no names versus the other three ladies who I'm sure are tremendous wrestlers in their own respect. But it's like. Again, who who are you versus hey, this is this person. Um again, cr crowd was crowd was building throughout the night. The ref would go one, two, sweet and the crowd would of course do that and, and the crowd got into it. I mean great energy. I would give this kind of a bonus match only because my girlfriend's nephew got the autograph from Dakota Kai, so I give her props for that. I mean, it's always great to see wrestlers, especially if you're a professional wrestler, you kind of get in with the crowd, and you do sm really small little things, and that that's meaningful. So normally I would give this a... Cheeseburger match. Again, it's good. Really hard for them to screw it up. But because she she did sign that autograph, it's a double cheeseburger for her. My girlfriend, gave her the two-heart match. Again, probably based a lot on the fact that she signed the autograph. Then we go into an okay match, and this is <laughs> this was a this was a little bit of a fun match for me, and, and interesting things could have happened. But um Riddick Moss versus Velveteen Dream. Riddick Moss, great heel work. Velveteen Dream came in, and I swear I almost jumped the barrier because I saw him wink at my girlfriend. No one does that to my girlfriend. I wink at her. I was going to get in that ring and bite his freaking nose off. But she kind of stopped me and said, no, oh, it's okay, honey. And then if she was here, she would show you the picture of, of, of him winking at her, and, and I would give her the look. But uh Okay, again, a really solid performance from both these two. Very hard to say either of these two can put on a bad match. Um, it seems a little bit long, I think. Again, it's a ham sandwich match, but again, this is an NXT house show, and you're not going to get with rare exception, the surf and turf match, the really good match, the Flamingo and the AJ Styles versus Nakamura match. Not really going to happen here on the NXT house show, so I kind of understand that. We're going to say, ham sandwich match. My girlfriend, however, gave it that half heart. Again, she didn't like the fact that some guy was trying to hit on her. Her man standing right, being right next to her. And again, I kind of got up a little bit. And she's like, no, I don't want to get kicked out. 
but we'll we'll set that straight later. Next match, I have no idea why this was on a host show. This match could have headlined any NXT show. That good. These these two is Kai Sono, also known as Chris Hero. Again, shows my age a little bit. He took on the I guess the debut of EC3 Ethan Carter the Third, which was a shock because he came out again. Both great wrestlers, both tremendous performers. I mean this. This is really, for the most part, again, it's that surfing, it's that rare surfing turf match on NXT. It's like, again, it's probably that surfing turf with crab cakes instead of a lobster tail, either steak or crab cake. Again, this could have been te televised and could have headlined any NXT show. It could have been on any pay per view to open up an NXT takeover. I mean, that would have been a tremendous entrance, EC3. For EC3 to, to have done that. I know he has to get his kind of work in a little bit, get used to, get used to the NXT system. Hey, it, it was a treat and a half. Again, the only reason it's not the lobster, it's the crab cakes instead of the lobster tail. I, and I, I don't know why they do it. Kai Sono is the gatekeeper. You're going to come in, wrestle him. He can put on a match with anyone. I mean, he could make a broom look good. He could make me look good. He, you've probably seen my cat wandering around. It's a little fuzzball cat. He can make her. He could put on a, a cheeseburger quality match with my cat. I mean, he could be such a big star. And it just seems he really enjoys the wrestling aspect and really enjoys the crowd. And the, and the crowd gave, gave all that love back to him, saying, you deserve it. This is awesome. Again, my, my only small complaint, again, I don't want to see Chris, I don't want to see Chris Hero lose. It's just my thing. I know it's, it's, it sounds silly. Again, my girlfriend saw probably saw more of my reaction. She saw these two guys going at each other and they're like, "Ugh, wow, how can that guy do that?" It's like, "Ooh, that looks like it almost hurts." Again, half. Yeah, actually, I think this was one, 
and a half hearts, and eventually I have to make I think that's a good balance on it. Again, that comes with time. Nothing's ever good in the beginning. The next is a tag team. Uh, after that, we have a little break, get a stretch, talk, figure out stuff, get his talk to the people next to you. Again, really good crowd, though. I mean, some really knowledgeable people there. Next match, though, this should have been the main event. If not the main event, the second to last, Heavy Machinery versus Sanity. Heavy Machinery is great. They have great chemistry. They are very, very charismatic, and I truly enjoy that. It's being a wrestling fan, you want to be there, you want to be entertained. You know, once you see some guy, okay, we're going to put on a technical show for five matches. It's, it's going to be like watching high school wrestling. Yeah, it's good, but who wants to watch high school college wrestling? You want to be entertained. Heavy machinery come in, high fives the crowd, go around the ring, do their whole thing. And this is the kicker. Sanity showed up. They're all good. Nikki, and they all have their own special traits. Alexander Wolf goes, goes, goes around moshing and sponsoring off people. Killian Dane, also known as Big Dane, again, shows my age a little bit and how much I kind of enjoy watching wrestling. I mean, just this big, massive, burly, guy and looks like he eats not steak but just 
chunks off the cow. And then Nikki Cross is there. I know she's billed at 5'2". If she's 4'9 in those wrestling shoes, she's that. But she's this little squirrel of energy that just ate coffee grounds. Because all she does is run around the ring, bouncing off things, bouncing off people, bouncing off the ref, bounce off heavy machinery, tries to mosh with Alexander Wolf, bounces off him, bounces off Big Demo, goes outside, bounces off the barriers. Very, very entertaining, very lively. Again, this is another surf and turf match. It's, I don't know, I understand why they have it. They could have put this on, again, any TV taping of NXT, could have headlined any NXT TV show. It could have been the pre show at any NXT takeover. It's that good. I mean, again, one of the best moments, not so much wrestling wise, but there was a mosh off, and Alexander Wolf, and I want to say Dozovich, and it's just like, wow, that was, again, not the greatest technical wrestling match, a good wrestling match, but you just were fully entertained by it. And I think that's the, that's the thing. If, if you go to an NXT show, you are fully, you want to be entertained. You want to have fun. Yes, you want to see some wrestling. Yes, you want to see that, but. When you're entertained, it's like, wow. And again, the one thing about this card, this whole night, actually, for some reason, went, went really quick. Every match had great energy. Very good paced match. It's really just fun. Next match. Good job, ref. Following matches for the United Again, this could have been the main event of this show. You had the UK title match and Pete Dunne versus Oni Lorcan. Again, this could have been on any NXT TakeOver if they built it up right. Oni Lorcan is probably one of the heaviest hitting chops person, European uppercut, forearm hitting person you'll ever see. And that's just truly amazing. Knowing that, Pete Dunne is just that bruiser weight. Very technical, very joint manipulation based. Again, the British strong style, but it all goes into that basic wrestling skills. He's going to find one weakness. He's going to tear apart an arm. He's going to, he's going to try to damage the fingers, the forearm, the elbow, 
the wrist, the shoulder of that one arm, and he will, and he tries just to wear you down. A very, very good technical wrestling match. Again, with this, great back and forth between the two wrestlers. Pete Dunne had his moments. Very strong joint manipulation, bending fingers backwards, stepping on exposed elbows. The best thing about Pete Dunne is that he takes wrestles like an armbar. Yeah, armbar looks like it could hurt. He makes it look like it hurt. Okay? My girlfriend's like, ooh, every time he did that, ooh, ooh. And... Again, Oni Lorcan says, Chops, oh, yeah. Oh, that hurt. That looked like it hurt. Both wrestlers, red in the chest, red in the back. Again, great back and forth. It's a surf and turf match, and this is a lobster. This is a surf and turf with a lobster tail, just like the previous one. I have no idea why these weren't, either one of these could have been the main event. Because the main event, yeah. It was a six-woman tag match. And when it was announced that it was a six-woman tag match, the whole crowd went boo. The, the crowd literally booed Percy. He had no idea what was coming. They were like, we want... There were chants. We, uh, give us our money back. People were yelling and screaming. It's like, this is the main event after what we saw between Heavy Machinery, Sanity, and then the Pete Dunn UK title match with Oni Lorcan. They give us this. Eh. Um, Vega Gonzalez, and I kind of called it. I, I, I told the guys, like, listen, if this is a six woman tag match, they're going to have. I already know who the heels and faces are going to be. You're going to have generic Texas female wrestler. You're going to have over sexualized, over sexualized heel female wrestler. And then you'll have the, the cheating. Do the heel tactic female wrestler. And for the most part, I was right. It was Vega Gonzalez again. Good wrestler. Looks like generic Texas wrestler. Comes out with like, with chaps and all wearing black and the cowbell on a rope, cowboy hat. Yeah. Generic Texas female wrestler or generic female wrestler from Texas. Yeah. Vanessa. Again, comes out, bustier, tight, and tight-looking, underwear-looking pants. Hey, again, the over-sexualized rest, female wrestler who, who does cheap tactics. And then Shayna Baszler was there, so that was, that was, that was kind of cool. That was, that was a good little, she brought in a little mix. And then they faced...
Jesse, who I guess they're trying to build up as like the new Bailey character, or she's the local enhancement product. I don't know. I know there's a couple other indie league indie leagues in Florida, based out of Orlando. Maybe she was from one of them. Very, very super baby face. Portrayed the girl next door with the glasses and and, and, the, and the cute, but not overly over the top sexy looking outfit. But just like almost that wholesome girl, girl next door. It's like, oh, okay. Um, the little nerdy girl next door with the white glasses. And then they had Kyrie Sane, which was really good. Again. She could do no wrong. The crowd pop. Finally, crowd finally got around to it when when they're like, "Oh, who's Jesse?" It's like, "Oh, Shane Baszler." So, okay, it's like, "Who's who's Jesse?" Oh, Kyrie Saint, yay! And then of course, one of my personal favorites again, showing my age only because I remember her versus the Young Bucks and Adam Cole when they were in PWG, and I think she spent some time in Chikara and a few other indie organizations. Candice LeRae. I mean, why they don't push Candice LeRae to the moon? I have no idea. Why Candice LeRae is in NXT? I have no idea. I mean, they could put her in on the main roster, SmackDown Raw. Most people say, hey, whoa, look at her. And she could almost go right in the title picture on those two brands, why she's just hanging around doing six woman tag team matches and female tag team matches and, and sometimes being a jobber. I understand. I get why. Uh, again, my own personal bias. I don't want to see Candice LeRae jobbing out because in re I remember her matches versus the Young Bucks, her matches with and against Joey Ryan, um, her versus Adam Cole, her versus any guy from from PWG and Chikara, and a few other and a few other indie promos and just touring. It's like really, it's like you're doing this here now. You could be so great, but hey. Give her, give her the props though. She she made it up. She made it to the big level, I guess. Again, I'm kind of torn in this match. It was a kind of ham sandwich match. The heels had, had, had some good chemistry. There was, of course, always the illegal double team, and the ref doesn't see it. Um, you have the, the high spots from the faces onto the heels to the outside of the ring. Again, all, all the faces. I don't know what Jesse's move was. A really good seller, though. She was selling a leg injury because the heels focus on her one leg. Again, really good, really good seller, really great, really great and developmental. I mean, she obviously knows, obviously knows her craft. Kyrie saying she had her spot, the final spot, of course, what all always says as the macho elbow. Oh, 
cut, coming off the top rope. Again, she gets so much air for such a small person. And then Candice LeRae again kind of, kind of showcased herself. But again, kind of hand sandwich. It really got a poor crowd reaction in the beginning. I mean, you could figure out who were the faces, who were the heels. I mean, and you're like, eh. I mean, again, Jesse just seemed really happy to be her person. Again, very clap. The thing that, that I caught, especially from generic Texas female wrestler, Vega Gonzalez, classic Texas stuff over to a hold. It's like, that, that was in Terry Funk's book from since forever, I think. So I think every Texas wrestler, every wrestler from Texas has always used a step over to a hold. I think. I don't know. You can always you can always leave a comment and say no, not every, not every, not every Texas wrestler uses a step over to a hold. This is a common move. I mean, feel free to comment, and hopefully I'll get things working out. Again, the reason why I'm going to up this a little bit. Again, my girlfriend's nephew got an autograph from Kyrie Sane. Yeah, I, I tried to be the, the good guy and printed out, I think, a couple of pictures of, of some stars I thought might be there to sign things. And it was, in, again, Ky I will say this about Kyrie Sane. She is actually very personable. Um, you got, you got to meet, kind of meet them at the end of the match after she signed my girlfriend's nephew's autograph of her. And it was an older picture. It was when she was Kyrie, she was Kyrie Hojo instead of Kyrie Sane. And I'm like, wow, it's like, I remember you was Kyrie Hojo and her eyes were like, Ooh. and it's always great when when wrestler and I might be off base, but I think when the wrestlers meet fans that have known them for a while and and and, and kind of remember them, like I remember when I met Kai Sono, I'm like, oh man, I, I remember you like, give him the elbow bump. It's like, so it's, it's great to see so, oh, And he seemed really genuine. Again, Kyrie Sane seemed really genuine. A very genuinely nice, genuine person. Really nice person. Very fan friendly. Went around. Got, got to let. I, um, one day I'll post my picture of, of, of me and her that my girlfriend took. And she wasn't that happy. But hey, the Velveteen Dream winked at you. I get my picture with Kyrie Sane. So it kind of all bounces out of the um, that's it. I'm going to be working on some other videos again. I had to travel all the way up from Dade to Dade City from where I am. Next. So hopefully later on, I'm going to post some reviews and notes about Raw and SmackDown. Next week, again, I'll probably do double duty because NXT is coming to town. And... We'll see how that goes. My only hope is that I hope they have just different wrestlers because I enjoy it, but I don't want to see the same roster to the same thing all the time. It's a little bit boring. But, hey, it is NXT. Let these guys get their work in so we can see them on TV soon. Again, I'd like to thank you for watching YouTube channel. Eventually, one day, my girlfriend will be here. We'll possibly do live streams. Again, we're going to make this kind of a, a weekly weekly show where we review wrestling. Again, you get my perspective as the crazy, as the wrestling fan who's, who's been around. I actually do have some friends in the, in, in, kind of in, in the indie business. My, my one friend from college wrestles up in New England. Um, so please do check out Diamond, Diamondback Jack Maverick or some combination of that name. Um, then you get my perspective. And then of course you always get the girlfriend's perspective, which can be Always interesting. And again, well, she, well, she gave the previous match the three hearts because she thought it was really good. And again, her nephew got the autograph, so that kind of bolstered things up. Um, again, please like and subscribe this video. Feel free to leave any comments and.